everybody, this is Tyler with Candlelit Crime Scene here to give you a little tutorial on FL Studio. Today I'll be going over the overview of the initial user interface that you encounter when you open up FL Studio. And I'll talk about different things such as beats per minutes and working with channels and things like that. Uh, for starters, I'll show you what the end product will be. Uh, it's nothing too great, it's just very simple, something for beginners to learn by. If you're a veteran, you probably won't get too much out of this tutorial. But later I will make it a priority to put out a few more tutorials that go a little bit more into depth into things such as plugins and working just in more detail. So for starters, we'll just play this. So as you can see, it's extremely simple and I will begin this tutorial right now. First thing you're going to want to do when you in when you get into FL Studio is click on File, which is located right up here in the upper left hand corner where most file buttons are located, and just go ahead and click New. We're not even going to do it new from template or anything like that. We're going to start completely from scratch. So your screen, if it's the first time you opened it up and not messed with anything, should look very similar to this after you click New. Now I know a lot of times when FL Studio opens up, it'll have a little sampler that's already kind of set up like this. So if you already have what I'm seeing right here, then we're good to go. All right, the first thing we'll do is go into Packs, and you're going to scroll down. I usually like to use the Dance Plugins little packs right here, and it should come directly with your FL Studio, whatever you downloaded. There's nothing external that I'm using right now. Uh, and go ahead and click on Club Kit. It's a basic thing. Just throw that in there. All right, so the first thing we want to figure out is what kind of song we're making. Now obviously as you just heard it's just very basic I don't know, kind of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it right here. This is going to be the beats per minute. This little 130 that you see right here or the BPM. Uh, if you just click on that and drag it up a lot of times you know people use 160, 140. It just depends on what you want to do. I'm going to make this a little bit faster so I'll bring it up to 140 and I'll show you what that does uh, whether you know you can drag it up and down actually while you're playing so you can get an idea. So I'll go ahead and click what you see right here, or just the different beats within the kick that I just created. Uh, one, two, three, and four different beats. So I'll go ahead and click right up here as the play button. So you can hear that, it's just beats, just regular beat. All right. So now that we've already got the kick in, we're gonna add the other instruments. And again, as you can see, I've got the packs open. I'm in the legacy folder. So packs within the packs and legacy. Within legacy, I'm in dance. And within dance, you can actually click on any of these and hear all the different sounds before you click and drag them over there. Uh, that doesn't apply to everything, but for the ones that I'm showing you today, it does. So we'll click a very simple clap, which is right here. Click, hold that down, and you can drag it into it. I'll show you another way, is if you want to right click it, you can either open it in new channel, which is going to put it right below here, or you can uh, send it to the current channel. I'm going to go ahead and open it in new channel, which is down here. And uh, uh, for this clap up here, I'm just going to go ahead and right click. If you ever want to delete a channel completely, you're just going to have to right click and delete. And it's going to ask you if you want to delete it and click yeah, sure. So for this, mm, let's see. We'll just put it on every other beat. So let's see what that sounds like for 140. Okay. So a very simple thing. Uh, for the hat, we'll go ahead and add a little hat right here. It's a very simple sound. Click on it, drag it over, throw it in the little hat section. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. As I showed you down here, you can click on the little light up button so they, you know, off on. Right click uh, turns it off and left click puts it on. Or you can right click here and you can fill in. Um, there's two steps which does it every two steps, four for every four, and eight for every eight. But what I did, you know, I, I want it on every off beat so that's why I did that. But what I'm going to do for the hat since I I don't feel like going in and clicking all these little buttons you know, all the way through and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to right click it and click on the two steps. So now you'll hear what that sounds like. Alright, so it sounds pretty good. Again, for this tutorial I'm not going to use the snare for anything so I'm going to go ahead and right click then delete. The last thing I'm going to add is this little green uh, orange string. There's one right above it. There's one below it too. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, if you use the, the DNC orange string um, a lot of people, you know, they'll use the, yeah, whatever. 
Okay, so for this we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not going to just use the little dots here and just make all these little little sounds. We're going to actually get rid of all that and we're going to go up to here and where it says pattern one. We're going to go ahead and click on pattern two. So you're still going to have pattern one, but we're going to scroll. I use the mouse wheel. You can just scroll up to pattern two. All right, so for the orange string, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to right click on it. So if you left click it, it's going to bring up the, all the effects and things you can get into, which we will not do any of that in this tutorial. I'm just going to right click it and go to piano roll. All right, the piano roll here just shows me all the different uh, you know, keys for a piano that you can add the different notes in. So for now, I'm just going to click and make sure you're on your paintbrush. You can also use your keyboard. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and put uh, C5 in here. And I, what I did to draw it out like this was just click and drag. So start off as a one fourth note, and I just go ahead and drag it all the way out so it fills that first full measure. So and you can click on this note here just to see what it's going to sound like before you do it. So I got two and one. Uh, what was that? Yeah. Okay, so we have this right here for this pattern. Alright, good. Excellent. So for this last note, if you can remember when I did earlier, was I made it just drop off a little bit. Nothing too creative, just a very simple drop off that sounds okay, whatever, you know. Something like that. And it sounds kind of awkward with the way I have it now, just because I'll show you in a second. I'm going to add an effect that breaks this up a little bit automatically. It's a very easy way to do that, just to make it sound a little bit more trancy, a little bit more techno. And I'll do that in just one second. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is up here in the right-hand corner, I'm on the this thing right here, what we, we showed you before when I clicked on this. And the piano key is right next to the piano button, which is what I'm on right now. So there's the piano button. And if I want to go to the main stage, or, you know the main playlist where you add different uh, you know, tracks or whatever click on this far left hand button and yours will probably look like this I, I spaced mine out so you can see a little better in the tutorial but a lot of times it'll come all crunched up like this so don't be worried if yours looked a little different when I first put it in there anyways go ahead and click on this left hand thing and you'll see all the different tracks it's pretty much unlimited I mean you could go crazy with it I've, I've gone pretty far down every once in a while but not you know it just depends on how much you're willing to invest in your song uh, anyways, on track one, we're going to go back up here where it says pattern two. Go to where it says pattern one. If you remember, again, right here with the little little step sequencer thing, go ahead and click on that. That was our pattern one. If you play that where it says a little red dot up here on the left-hand corner, that was our pattern one. We're going to go ahead and put that in there and just, uh, yeah, we'll just keep it like that for now. And then we're going to go down to pattern two, which was our little orange string that we had here and fill that in with that. If you'll see this is shorter it's because it's only playing uh, one-fourth the length that pattern 2 is playing so it will stop you know after this is complete unless you hold, click hold down and add the rest and again I'll show you You know you can break that up to make it sound kinda cool and add the top layers and it's really cool once you get you know more and more layers to stop some and then bring them back in and that kind of stuff. It's a very simple way to do it. Mm -hmm. 